You're watching Action News Jax at 5. Local coverage you can count on. When a disaster strikes, it's FEMA's job to help families rebuild. But now government auditors say that one out of every three dollars the agency spends after a disaster may be misspent. Justin Gray is live in Washington with new questions about where billions of taxpayer dollars intended to help families and communities are actually going, Justin. Well, the FEMA Disaster Relief Fund only has so much money to go around, so every dollar being spent improperly could be going instead to help someone need. It's the help that comes not just in the days after a disaster like the Tennessee wildfires or Hurricane Matthew, but FEMA's Disaster Relief Fund also provides resources for the weeks and months of rebuilding that follows. There are new questions from government auditors about how FEMA is spending that money. The FEMA Inspector General found what it calls, quote, questionable costs with 29% of the $1.5 billion it studied. That money shouldn't be provided to people that shouldn't get it. That's very frustrating to people that are suffering and really need the help immediately following a disaster. FEMA's inspector general says it found problems like duplicate payments and unauthorized expenditures. Most of the issues, not with homeowners or small businesses, but big institutions like state and local governments and hospitals. Tom Chats from Citizens Against Government Waste says FEMA has made some improvements in recent years, but not enough. In the private sector, this would never happen. I reached out to FEMA where the administrator says the agency has made major progress in recent years to change its grant programs. In a statement, he said, quote, the report falls short in recognizing the complexity and scope of the work that FEMA does and fairly portraying the agency's successes and challenges. But the inspector general contends its recommendations would save FEMA more than $1.5 billion in taxpayer dollars. And FEMA officials tonight tell us they question those numbers and those potential savings. Reporting live in Washington, Justin Gray, CBS 47, Action News Jax. All right, Justin.